water. No matter where in the world you live, you share with all living things the need for this vital resource. As rivers, streams, and lakes, oceans, bays, and wetlands, and estuaries, creeks, and ponds, water covers 70% of the Earth's surface. 97% of it is salt water, contained in or near our oceans, and 2% is ice and snow. That leaves only 1% of the world's water available for drinking, cooking, washing, agriculture, and industry. Because of the natural recycling of water through evaporation and precipitation, and because many bodies of water flow into others, changes in water quality in one place can affect the water quality in many other places. That's why people all over the world monitor water quality, gather information about it, and share this information with one another. And that's what World Water Monitoring Day is all about. World Water Monitoring Day is an international outreach effort that builds public awareness and involvement in protecting water resources around the world. This program is held between September 18 and October 18 each year and it engages communities in performing simple water quality monitoring tests on their local rivers and streams. World Water Monitoring Day is coordinated by the Water Environment Federation in partnership with the International Water Association. This annual event started in 2002 and it quickly grew into an international effort. It's exciting to us that in just a few short years, thousands of people in 50 countries have participated. Our goal is to have one million people in 100 countries participating in the World Water Monitoring Day program by 2012. And I'm pleased to say we're well on our way. We have a lot of support to reach that goal, but it will take all of us, individuals, communities, businesses, and government agencies. We're fortunate in the United States to be working with the Environmental Protection Agency and the U.S. Geological Survey as our key partners. The USGS uh, feels that the World Water Monitoring Day is a really important activity and we've been involved in it since 2002 and we're really pleased to support it. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to really work with citizens all across the country who share our interest in the nation's water quality. EPA is a proud participant in this effort that's global as well as local to really follow the health of, of water because we think it is the key to a sustainable and a healthy future, not just for the country, but for the planet. In addition to government agencies, a number of businesses with clean water goals also contribute to the program's success. CH2M Hill has supported World Water Monitoring Day since 2003. We do it because it helps people connect more strongly to the water resources that are vital both to their existence and to their quality of life. We actively support this effort and we encourage others to join in because it benefits the overall health of the planet and the individual communities in which we live, work, and play. World Water Monitoring Day is a great program. It's been great for Smithfield. It allows our employees to interact with communities, not only in the states in the United States, but in Romania, France, Poland, and many other locations where we do business. Uh, it allows communities to great, take great comfort in the fact that a company like Smithfield encourages people to take water samples around our farms and facilities. You don't have to be experienced to take part. Anyone can join in. To register, click on the WWMD Database tab and select Enter Database. After first registering as a participant, you can then register one or more monitoring sites. Sites registered in a prior year do not have to be re-registered. To perform the tests, you'll need a monitoring test kit. If you don't have one or can't borrow one, you can purchase an inexpensive kit designed specifically for World Water Monitoring Day. Instructions for purchasing a kit are provided on our website. With your site registered and your kit in hand, you may test your registered body of water anytime from September 18th through October 18th. Be sure to always follow safety precautions. Never monitor during or immediately after a storm. Avoid traffic and other safety hazards. And don't enter private land unless you have the owner's permission. Additional precautions are highlighted in the test kit booklet. Once at your site, you will perform tests for four basic water quality parameters. Turbidity, water temperature, dissolved oxygen, and pH. We'll explain each parameter along with the steps for conducting each test. 
The first test determines the turbidity, or clarity, of the water. If organic debris, sand, or silt is suspended in the water, it can prevent sunlight from reaching aquatic plants and can smother habitats for fish and other aquatic animals. For this test, just affix the small circular black and white decal to the inside bottom of your sampling jar. Then fill your jar to the fill line with water from your site. Hold the turbidity scale on your card partially over the top of the jar. Now compare the three turbidity measurements on the chart to the appearance of the disc inside the jar while looking through the water and determine which one most closely matches it. Record the turbidity value 0, 40, or 100 JTUs or Jackson turbidity units. The next test determines the water temperature because many aquatic species are sensitive to temperatures outside an acceptable range. To prepare for this test, mount the self-adhesive low and high range liquid crystal temperature strips around the base of your sampling jar. Next, hold your jar about four inches below the water surface. After one minute, remove the jar from the water and record the temperature that is highlighted on either strip. The temperature scale on the strips is in degrees Celsius. Next is the test to determine how much dissolved oxygen is in the water. Dissolved oxygen, or DO, is related to temperature, since cold water holds more oxygen needed for aquatic life to survive. Low or fluctuating DO levels can harm the aquatic life. Using the smaller vial, fill it with water all the way to the top, so there is no air left in it. Drop two dissolved oxygen tablets from the blister pack marked DO into the test kit and screw on the cap. If your vial is filled properly, some water will overflow as you do this. Now gently turn the vial end to end for several minutes to dissolve the tablets. Do not shake it. Once the tablets have dissolved, wait five minutes for the color to develop. Now compare the color of the water with the dissolved oxygen chart on the card. Select the color that most closely matches your water sample and note the value, 0, 4, or 8 ppm or parts per million. The higher the number, the more dissolved oxygen is in the water. Since the water temperature affects the ability of oxygen to dissolve, you will also determine the DO saturation percentage, using your results from these two tests and the chart in the test kit manual. The final test is for pH, which is a measure of whether the water is acidic, neutral, or alkaline. Aquatic wildlife thrive when the water's pH is closer to the neutral value of 7. Values much above or below 7 indicate lower water quality. For this test, use the longer vial and fill it to the 10 milliliter line. Add one pH test tan, place the plastic cap on top, and turn the vial end to end for a few minutes to dissolve the tablet. Once the tablet is mostly disintegrated, with only a few small undissolved bits, you can compare the sample to the pH color chart on the card. Note the value, which will range from 4 acidic to 10 alkaline. Finally, many volunteers often observe bugs or macroinvertebrates. This can be a fun way to assess water quality, but it requires a good deal of training. If you're interested in seeing how this is done, try contacting a local monitoring group in your area. Once you have completed all the tests at your monitoring site and recorded your results, you are ready to enter them online. Return to the World Water Monitoring Day database and click on Enter Results. It's important to complete your data entry by December 18th. And that's all there is to it. It's fun, easy, and so important. Your results from participating in World Water Monitoring Day are compiled in our annual summary report, which is posted on our website for people throughout the world to access. Each year, as more and more people participate, their knowledge of water quality and how their actions affect water quality will greatly increase. Thank you for taking part in this global effort. We hope you'll participate every year and continue to learn more about your watershed and how to monitor and protect the waters we all share and depend upon. For more information and resources or to contact us, please visit our website at www.worldwatermonitoringday.org.